Hello everyone. Today I will be navigating you through the process of the portrait which I specifically made for this winter season. Before starting to this video, I would like to wish you all a merry christmas. So I started out with a rough sketch. I took inspiration from a reference that I got from Pinterest. This time I based my art on it but I didn't actually replicate the reference completely. I did not make any base structures or something before I started sketching. I just did it out of my instinct. But I would suggest you to make some structure before you start out drawing the line art. In that way there would be less chances of disproportionate body parts. As usual, I added a dull background color first, then I started with painting the skin. I have used dark brown, orange and yellowish colors. The colors are more on the saturated side because of the darker skin. If you want to know in depth about different skin colors and different skin color palettes, you should definitely check out the video above. Always remember the light source when you are adding shadows and highlights. For the brush, I used flat brush lines with texture. I have realized that I really like the textured brushes rather than normal brushes. So lately I have been using different kind of textured brushes for my portraits. So what I do for blending is, I basically keep my brush opacity low, then I color pick from the overlapping zone of two different colors or two different hues and blend them using a mixer brush. If you are curious about my blending technique, you can always check out my painting and blending playlist. The key point of this blending technique is keeping the brush opacity low all the time. So enjoy the process, I will get back to you in the next segment and as always feel free to slow down the video if you need that. Painting the hair was probably the most difficult part of this portrait. I have fixed the hair numerous times and I have also edited those out because it was just too messy. 
drawing super curly hair without a difficult light source is much easier. But in this case, I had to highlight specific areas and I also had to make sure that it's actually looking properly curly, not like some random shaky lines. Getting that base color right was also a very tricky part. At first, I used another flat brush to work with the curls. As you can see on the left side, but it was not actually looking visually pleasing. So I worked with the smudge brush at the right side, but the curls were not clear. Then I also tried to make curls using liquify brush but was not really satisfied with it. I was so frustrated at some point that I started working on the skin again. I wanted to make an interesting highlight color, so I suddenly felt like changing it to a cool tone. I chose the new color range feature to change specifically the highlight part. After that, I worked on blending the skin some more. The plan was to make it a winter themed art so I painted a fluffy fur coat. I used the fur brush 1 to do that. I added some light and shadows according to the light source and then after refreshing my mind by doing different parts of the portrait. Finally, I realized that I was just being an idiot. I could have just turned on the force fed and draw the curls. It would have worked perfectly. After realizing that fact, I added some more details of the hair around the forehead to make it look like it has been tied up tightly. I spent almost 11 hours on the portrait and I'm pretty sure that more than half of the time was paint on just the hair.
Now it's time to add some finer details like eyelashes and more refined shading on the face. I like myself some good details and good finishing. So this part is really important to me. So again I focused on perfecting the hair and started adding those highlighted curls. Finally, it started to look better than the older miss. When I was more or less happy with it, I used the liquify pen to fix some overall proportions. When I was painting, I was constantly thinking about what to do with the background. I wasn't completely sure in the beginning what to add there, but I knew that I wanted something contrasting to the warm skin tone. So a setup of a forest and snow would be perfect to bring some coldness to the drawing. I used the leafless tree stamps to create that forest effect. Then again, I used the fur brush to add some snow on the tree. To put more focus on the portrait, I blurred the background using lens blur. The intensity of the blur wasn't too high, it was more on the lower side. I wanted to give her a fancy looking accessories so I added those snowflake earrings using snowflake and hexagon stamp. And to complete the background I used the fur brush once again to draw the falling snows. One last time I fixed the hair then I tweaked the color of the entire portrait using different blending modes and by changing the hue and saturation. If you want to know how to make your art look cooler and interesting, you can check out the card above. So this is the final result. I hope you enjoyed watching the process and got to know more about the different steps and stages of the art. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.